What's going on guys? I'm Shishi Yang here sitting next to Johnny. He's a star of E's new reality show, Rich Kids of Beverly Hills. Uh, thank you. One of the stars. One, One of, the of the stars. stars yes. Well, in my book, the star. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Of course. Those girls are crazy, so it's hard to outstar them. They're amazing though. <laughs> <laughs> Love you on the show. I gotta admit, when I first heard that E was doing a reality show about Rich Kids of Beverly Hills, I was a little skeptical. I was like, really? Are we gonna see more like fake kids, rich kids? But then after I watched the first episode, I I was like, this is good. I got addicted. We're actually kind of fun. I think that's what we all realized. Once the show actually started airing, everyone was like, these kids are actually fun. They're not just rich, they're fun. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We have, a lot of, we have a lot of soul, we have a lot of passion about what we're doing. And just like everyone else, we have, you know, problems that we're going through, so mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Now, was it kind of hard for you to get used to the fact that there's a lot of cameras rolling around you 24-7? You're like, no, 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 no. Okay, we got to film this. I think that it took a little time to get used to, obviously, but like we adjust very quickly. And as a group of friends, we were there for each other and we were able to help each other through any situation that we did have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what made you want to do the show? Because you know by signing up to a reality show, you know, there's going to be a lot of haters out there. Is there? I had no clue. I watched The Housewives and I had no clue people hated them. No idea. No, I did the reality. I'm, I'm a songwriter. Uh -huh. So I was just like, you know, it was to help me open doors for songwriting. And honestly, because we're all such close friends, it would be weird if we didn't do it together. Really? If one of us was missing, it uh -huh. wouldn't be complete. It wouldn't be complete. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And how closely related to the show would you say your personality is? Would you say the producers do, do a pretty fair job of like 100%. portraying? Really? A hundred percent. Honestly, we're very lucky to have the team that we work with and like everyone's very nice mm -hmm. and they look out for us and like you can't blame editing because if you say something, you say something, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it puts it out there. It's fun. Okay. okay. So obviously there's a lot of drama on the show. Yes. Drama? Mm -hmm. Reality? I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea, and I didn't think there'd be any drama. Ooh, do you watch your own show? Funny, with my group uh -huh. of friends, there's always drama. We always have drama. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what I'm wondering is that how do you guys manage to stay so close? Because usually the cameras re ruin relationships and friendships. I think in a way our, our group of friends is like a family. You uh -huh. know what I mean? At the end of the day, like we will fight, but I don't think any of us will really go to sleep mad at each other. You know, we, we disagree on things. We don't agree on, you know what I mean? We have little bickers and we have little tantrums and stuff like that. We're there for each other. Okay. We're there for each other. And who would you say you're closer to when the cameras are not rolling, Dorothy or Morgan? Ooh, closer I, to, wow, you're putting me on the spot now. I, I honestly, see? I would say I'm closer to Dorothy because I've, I've known her for a very long time. Okay. We're like brother and sister. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I love Dorothy too. She's like my Asian sensation sister in my head. There I gotta meet her. Yes, you yes. should meet her. You should, oh my God, you would love her. God, she's hilarious. She's yeah. just like on the show, she's in person. She's so funny. I and a really it. good girl. Really Absolutely. good girl. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh. And you know what I love the most about you guys? You guys are obviously well off, but you're but trying you're to- rich. I had no idea. Yeah, you are not on the poor kids of Beverly Hills, okay? I'm the not. poor kids of East LA. The struggling queens of West Hollywood. That's what I picture myself right. being on. <laughs> oh my God, that might be your alter ego, babe. There it is, honey, there yeah. it is. So I love the fact that you guys are all each trying to do something with your lives, yeah. right? Besides just using your parents' money. Because first of all, I'm gonna stand up for you and say, who can blame you for being the fact that you are well off? Thank you. You didn't choose which uh, which JJ you wanted to pop out of, oh, right? No, I did. Well, I did. Oh, I did, okay. and I ran out of that vagina and I've never gone back to one since. That was it for me with the vagina. But okay. no, I think that I think that was the problem. The show aired, I think people were looking for an apology. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, well, sorry for, we're not, but we're not, I, I personally want to apologize. My parents raised me, I think, in a very well way. I work very hard now. Um, I consider myself to be a very good person. I'm a very loyal person, you know, yeah. and we all work. That's what we all do.